Dumb Big Will Levinson, and it's time to talk sports. Tonight was the night for the heavily anticipated Ormac Championship game between two of the best D2 basketball teams in the nation and the top two seeds in the tournament. The two seed, sixth ranked 27 and three Fort Lewis Skyhawks and the home team, the top seed in the Armac, the fifth ranked also 27 and three Colorado Mesa Mavericks, the Armac player of the year. Trevor Baskin is locked in for this showdown of the sea as the action is underway. And after a score this first two minutes, Reese Johnson gets, gets us started in transition as the Mavs strike first two nothing. And on the other end, Trevor Baskin with the rejection. Boy, he does it all. And what a start by Baskin and the Mavs as he put CMU up six nothing and Baskin Baskin was feeling it in the early going from downtown. He knocks it down as CMU is up 9 nothing, and the bench is fired up, but they were not done. Isaac Jessup this time from deep. All Mavs in these first few minutes. They're up 12 nothing, and after Fort Lewis finally scored with free throws, the Mavs, they did not stop scoring. Baskin again down low puts CMU up 17-12 as Baskin has 12 points already, and this place is loving it, but Fort Lewis is ranked in the top six for a reason. No panic from the Skyhawks as they just chipped away and chipped away as they cut the Mavs lead to just seven, and this man, O.B. Agbin, just kept knocking him down as before you could blink, this game was tied and before you could blink Fort Lewis had the lead and they just kept on adding to it as the Mavs had no response for the outside shot and incredibly after being down by 15 after five minutes Fort Lewis dominated the rest of the first half and the Fort Lewis faithful that made the trip up from Durango is loving it as the Skyhawks would lead 47-34 at the half and Fort Lewis would hold a steady 12 to 15 point lead throughout the first 10 minutes. But if you need a spark, the best way to get it is an alley-oop. Baskin with the flush to CMU's within 10 and this place finally has something to cheer about. But everything CMU tried in the second half, Obi Agbin had the answers. I mean, if you look up unguardable in the dictionary, you'll get a picture of Agbin. Hands in his face, doesn't matter, he'll drain it. Tight coverage, doesn't matter he'll step back and then drain it and despite Baskin's best efforts to cut into the lead he finished with 23 OB Agbin responded 10 for 12 from the field 4 for 4 from 3 33 points for Mr. Agbin as the Fort Lewis Skyhawks march into Grand Junction and rip away the Ormac title from the Mavs 86 to 75 is the finals. Fort Lewis wins back-to-back -back Ormac championships, both at Bronson Arena. The Skyhawks make quite the case to host the regional tournament next week. And for Agman's high school teammate at Rangeview, Christopher Speller, he's seen this quite a few times before. But Obi, he's always performed like that. Like even in our state game, I know he hit probably like four threes. And I just know he's always performed like that. So with a guy like that, you gotta just, play the best defense you can and make the, the shots tough for him and live with the results so we can't really hang our heads too hard. The bottom line is is that we were uh, so intense at the beginning of the game, it's hard to sustain, so we need to learn that lesson. And then, um, you know, we just got to settle in and see ourselves as underdogs. You know, we've had kind of an overdog mentality all year, and uh, we need to go in to the NCAA tournament understanding that, that we're an underdog, and we have to just go in and, and, and play like an underdog and have that mentality of we're going in and we're taking our best shot and we're going to uh, be loose and, and ready to compete. A tough one tonight for the Mavs, but boy, the Skyhawks, they are a darn good team. Of course, the season is not over for CMU. The Mavs will now await their NCAA tournament future when the Division II Selection Sunday gets underway tomorrow night. The Mavs are in the South Central region, and they'll likely be headed to either Fort Lewis in Durango or West Texas A&M in Canyon, Texas. But that's all my time for sports. I'm Big Will Levinson.